Her Majesty returned to Windsor Castle on Tuesday after a private weekend at Sandringham. She flew back to the Berkshire estate by helicopter after spending a few days at the Norfolk retreat. Doctors advised that she should rest for two weeks after an overnight stay in hospital towards the end of last month. She has continued to undertake some light, desk-based duties during her recuperation period. Her Majesty's trip is also believed to coincide with the planning of this year's Christmas celebrations at Sandringham. Coronavirus restrictions meant much of the UK could not celebrate the festive period as they had planned last year. Daily Mirror Royal Editor Russell Myers told, Pod Save the Queen, that the Queen has invited, all the family to Sandringham this Christmas. He added, the guest list will be far and wide but isn't totally confirmed yet. But I imagine we would expect to see Charles, Camilla, the Cambridges. Will we see a cameo appearance from Harry and Meghan and the kids? Mr. Myers said the Queen has promised doctors that she will continue to rest before returning to royal duties. He added that rejigging and re-evaluation of her diary should be expected. She will no longer attend the Festival of Remembrance at the Royal Albert Hall on Saturday. However, Buckingham Palace said she has the firm intention of leading the country in honoring the war dead at the Cenotaph on Remembrance Sun. It remains one of the most sacred events in the Queen's calendar. Last year's observances were scaled back due to coronavirus restrictions. Mr. Myers said, there's not many dates cemented in the diary, sometimes it's a bit movable, but that is certainly one of them. I think she's only missed it six times, four of those were because she was on royal tours, and twice she was pregnant. He added, that just tells you, out of 70 years on the throne, if you've only missed it six times, that is less than a handful. I think she will be there next Sunday. Senior royals, politicians and British figures attend the service of the Cenotaph every year. The Queen always wears five poppies, instead of one. Buckingham Palace has, to date, never confirmed why she wears so many. However, it is believed that each represents a branch of the war services, army, navy, RAF, civil defense and women. The Queen is head of the British Armed Forces, a role she takes incredibly seriously. She remains incredibly passionate about remembering those who served their country. Her father, King George VI, reigned during World War II. Her grandfather, King George V, was the nation's monarch during World War I. Many current royals have served in the military, including Prince William, Prince Harry, Prince Charles and Prince Andrew. The Queen herself was appointed an honorary second subaltern in the Auxiliary Territorial Service in February 1945. She trained as a driver and mechanic, and five months later was given the rank of honorary junior commander, the female equivalent of captain at the time. Prince Charles has been laying her wreath at the Cenotaph since 2017, alongside his own one, bearing white flowers in the shape of the Prince of Wales feathers. Prince William, Princess Anne and Prince Edward usually lay wreaths at the monument too. Across the Atlantic, Prince Harry will honor military service personnel aboard a warship in New York this week. Harry spent a decade in the military, and served two tours in Afghanistan. He told the military podcast Declassified last year that wearing the military uniform was, among the greatest honors there are in life. He added, the act of remembering, of remembrance, is a profound act of honor. Asterisk to subscribe to Pod Save the Queen go to your normal podcast provider.